proud to welcome the Secretary General of NATO here to the Oval Office. Uh, we've just had a um, fascinating discussion. Uh, first, Mr. Secretary General, you've been a very strong leader. As a matter of fact, you've made um, uh, this country doesn't torture. We're not going to torture. Uh, we will interrogate people. We pick up off the battlefield to determine whether or not they've got information that will be helpful to protect the country. Kyle. Of threats and attacks by radicals and extremists. Uh, it says to me that we must double our effort to work with the international community to persuade the Iranians that there is uh, only isolation at, from the world if they continue uh, working forward on, on such a program. And uh, I've read the speculation about that that's what they may be doing. But whether they've doubled it or not, the idea of Iran having a nuclear weapon is unacceptable. And it's unacceptable to the United States. and it's. And it's unacceptable to the nations we're working with in the United Nations to send a common message, Karen. But whether they've doubled it or not. You know what I know, that the real challenge for the future is to, is to help people of moderation and young democracies succeed in the face of, uh, of threats and attacks by radicals and extremists who do not share our ideology, uh, have kind of a dark vision of the world. And let me, let me say that when in those actions of NATO, uh, of those brave NATO soldiers, civilians are killed, as happened two days ago, that's always a tragedy. That's a tragedy. But let me convince you to look at the broader picture. They are against democracy. Girls did not go to school when the Taliban was running Afghanistan. Now they go to school. Now there is a president. Now there is a government. Civilian victims are a, tra a tragedy, but we are there in favor of democracy. They are there to destroy democracy, and they are there to destroy our values. Delivering security in many, many places of the world.